if you are an overseas registered dentist who desires to become a registered dentist in australia and start practicing in your dental career then this video is for you hi friends this is jessin from edulogics where we teach you logic behind things welcome back to my channel and in today's video i am going to explain you all the information that you must know if in case you are a dentist and you want to move to australia to start your dental career so the registration authority that you have to deal regarding your registration process in australia is called australian dental council so there are a few countries from which if you have attained your qualification then your qualification is considered to be equivalent these countries are uk new zealand ireland and canada so if you have done your dental qualification from any of these countries you do not have to undergo any kind of examinations and you may be directly eligible for registration as a registered dentist in australia now if you have done your dental degree from any other countries you have additional steps to follow to get your dental license in australia there are mainly three steps that you have to follow the first one is called initial assessment the second is called the written examination and the third one is the practical examination so the first step is doing your initial assessment now initial assessment is nothing but a paper based qualification assessment in which you have to submit all your identity documents your qualification documents your transcripts etc to the australian dental council along with the good standing certificate and your registered dental license that you hold from your home country the fees for this assessment is 610 aud you can apply for this initial assessment if you meet the eligibility criteria now under the eligibility criteria you must have done at least a minimum of 4 year program it can be a dental degree or a dental diploma but a 4 year university program from a recognized institution it is not mandatory for you to have any clinical experience or any experience so it's a good option for even freshers to apply for their adc assessment so you must hold a valid dental license in your home country and you will be required to submit the certificate of good standing which should be directly sent from your dental body to the australian dental council all the documents that you are submitting should be as per the guidelines mentioned by the australian dental council and you will get an assessment outcome within 6 weeks the validity of this outcome is for 7 years which means that within 7 years you should be able to pass the next two steps for your assessment which are the written examination as well as the practical examination the next step is basically the written examination now the written examination is conducted twice in a year in the month of march and in the month of september and the authorized examination center is pearson view you can appear in this examination in your home country and you can check on the pearson view web website for the nearest pearson view center that is located near your residence the cost of this written examination is 2000 australian dollars and if you pass this exam the validity of your result is for 3 years the details about this examination such as the format of the exam how you can prepare rules and regulations is available on the adc website as well as the handbook i will leave the link for those in the description box below the last step for your assessment is basically passing the practical examination once you have passed the written examination now you can apply for the practical examination and it's a two day examination consisting of a technical skills day and the second exam day is basically clinical skills day this two day examination is only conducted in melbourne australia so for this exam you'll have to come to australia and go to melbourne examination center and appear in this exam the fees for this exam is 4500 australian dollars and if you pass this exam the validity will remain as it is which means that there is no expiry for this validity the details about this exam and how it's conducted and how you can prepare basically is provided in again the australian dental council website in the practical examination handbook and i will leave the link for these in the description box below once you successfully pass your practical examination you need to submit your english language proficiency scores which is either you can take ielts or pt or oet and the scores remain the same like any other healthcare professionals in australia which means you can you need to obtain an ielts 7 in each of the module or pt 65 in each of the module or oet level b in each of the module along with this you also need to complete the international criminal history check and once you submit all these documents you will be registered with the australian dental board you will soon get your license and then you can start your practice as a registered dentist in australia i hope you found this information useful if you did please 
please make sure to like and subscribe this channel and also make sure to share it with at least one person who may benefit from it. Until next time, stay safe and stay happy.